Hi everyone, in this video I am going to swatch, review, and show you swatches on the lips, of course, of ELF's brand new Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. And if you want to see what my thoughts are about it, I will give you some comparisons to the NYX versions, um, which I did also swatch those shades. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner for you to go see and compare for yourself, um, since they are very similar in terms of price points. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button and you can also go follow on Instagram. All right, so because these are just launched, they are available only through ELF's website, but after a few weeks, they should be more widely available at places that typically carry ELF, for example, Target, but I always link in the description box below um, and in this video where you can find the product to purchase. Those are affiliate links usually, and I note that in the description box for you. So let's take a look at what ELF says about these. These are $8 each. There are a total of eight shades. One of them is a clear shade, but otherwise I do have almost all the other shades for you here to swatch and see. A tinted moisturizing lip plumping gloss with a cooling sensation that gives you a smooth, glossy, and plumped up pout. It's a three-in-one lip plumper, gloss, and balm with a cooling tingle infused with lip-loving ingredients to help visibly plump and moisturize lips, drenches lips in sheer color and glossy shine, non-retractable click pen design for easy and precise application with a non-sticky formula and smooth glide application. In terms of the ingredients, all of products are vegan and cruelty free. There is fragrance that has been added to this formulation and there are a lot of fruit extracts like pomegranate, watermelon, and blueberry. So unlike the NYX versions that uh, have the actual tube of, in the color as the product, the e.l.f. ones have black packaging. The clicker portion does indicate to you what kind of shade you should expect. Immediately, one of my top gripes about the packaging is, you know, it's, it's nice sleek pa packaging, plastic. Um, oh, we also have this part of the tube, but that's only after you buy the product itself. So um, this part of the tube that's colored like the color of the shade, but it's very difficult. Most people don't keep the boxes. And so it's going to be really difficult for you to um, know what the shade is because it doesn't have the shade name on the outside of the packaging itself. The name of the shade is technically on this clear sticky at the bottom of the clicker, but it is really hard to read. This is zoomed in on the camera for you, but with your own eyes just normally trying to read this it's going to be very difficult so if you get to a point where you want to repurchase the shade um, and you have multiple it might be difficult for you to figure out uh, what shade you have on the packaging it's more clear because it's listed on the cardboard like this and for the price you are getting 0 0.07 ounces or two grams and like they said it is a click up pen as you can see, you'll dispense the product as you go. First shade up is going to be just peachy. This is a light peachy pink. Second is pinky out. This is a light nude pink. Third is toasted. This is described as a neutral beige. Fourth is Bust a Mauve. Described as a mauve, I would say this is a fairly brown toned mauve shade. Fifth is Plum on Over.
This is described as a berry. It's very purple toned. And sixth is Red My Mind. This is a sheer red. Kind of a strawberry tone to it. All right, so there are the swatches. Uh, the only one that I didn't swatch other than the clear is Wicked Cherry. It's described as a black cherry. So these have a very glossy finish. I know distance swatching, it's pretty goopy. Um, so I felt like it's more goopy in consistency than the NYX ones. This last shade, the Sheer Red shade, is um, sheer in a way that the other ones aren't. So... That color is, you can see, more translucent. And it took more work to make that swatch look smoother in color. Very shiny and glossy. And there's no claim that these are smudge resistant or anything like that. I just want to show you how they move across the skin. So, you know, not the most long wearing. Just be careful when you're drinking, eating, talking. Just check up on the application. Oh, I started doing the swipe before showing you, but... Um, you can also see that they remove pretty easily. No noticeable staining left behind. If you notice my earrings in the video, they are from Anna Luisa. I have worked with them before. They sent another few items complimentary. The earrings that you see in the swatches are a pair that they also sent me. Um, this is the packaging as soon as you open it, which is different from the packaging they used to have. This is really cool. They are snap little pockets here, which I thought was really neat. The pieces that I received from them last time, which probably is around a year ago now, I adore, I wear all the time. They are extremely high quality. Um, I'll show you this necklace first, which I haven't tried on yet. I haven't even taken off the safety covering on this, but it's this kind of large teardrop necklace. They're extremely high quality. I don't get any tarnishing, varnishing, you know, you're not going to get rusty stains behind on your ears um, or with any of the jewelry. Another set of these kind of looped link earrings. See them up close. So very high quality without having to pay, you know, these exorbitant amounts. They have pieces starting from around $40 and of course up. They currently, I believe, have a sale. If you look at the link in the description box, um, I think there are items up to 25% off. So of course, check that out if you're interested in really high quality, beautiful pieces of jewelry. So in comparison to the NYX formulation, these are definitely more goopy. Um, they have more of that oily, a uh, little bit of more oily texture in them. The NYX ones I feel like are more of a cream formulation. These also have a slightly more glossy, shiny finish. And of course, the major difference is that the ones from e.l.f. do have that tingling sensation that you're going to get after application. Uh, the NYX ones don't have that. The fragrance on the e.l.f. ones I don't personally love. It has sort of a sharpness to it. My guess is going to be that it has maybe something to do with the mentholy type of ingredient that they're putting in there to make it tingle um, and maybe also whatever fragrance they add. It's not super strong so I don't think it will be a major problem but that's kind of my thought on the way that the product smells. So I think the major comparisons are whether you want something that has a higher shine finish, that's the e.l.f. one, if you want something that has that tingling sensation, or if you really don't like that, then go with the NYX one. So overall, I feel like the e.l.f. ones are more glossy, and in comparison, the NYX ones are more of a cream formulation. And lastly, the major difference between the two of them is the price point. The e.l.f. ones at $8 each, the NYX ones at $11 each. You get the same amount of product in each, so that's a hard and fast $3 difference between the two of them. 
please let me know in the comment section below which formulation you are more interested in, if there's a color that really jumped out to you in the e.l.f. line, or any other thoughts or questions that you have. Hopefully this was helpful to you and you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.